Hey guys, how you going? Marcus searching for adventure. What the bloody hell have I gone and done? I bought an old troopie. Well, I've gone out and bought an old second-hand Land Cruiser troop carrier. And uh, look, in this episode, I thought I'd just do a real quick video on uh, what I've bought, why I've bought it, and a uh, bit of a quick walkthrough and rundown. Won't be a long video, and uh, I'm pretty bloody excited. I'm like a little kid. Yeah, it's bringing back a lot of memories. Anyway, let's get straight into it. So just a bit of a rundown on exactly what I've bought, guys. It is a 1990 model HJ75. Uh, Land Cruiser Troop Carrier, and it's early model 1990, and the uh, motor that's in the old girl here is the old 2H motor, which I know nothing about. But what I do know is, later on in 1990, in these 75 series uh, troopies, they moved on to, I think it's the 1HZ motor. Just a bit of a history, guys, on this, uh, this old girl here. Uh, I'm the fourth owner, so um, 1990 through to 2023. She's 33 years old and she's only had three owners and I think that's a pretty positive thing when you're looking to buy you know, such an old vehicle. So why have I gone and bought an old 70 series Land Cruiser? Short answer is, I was looking for a bit of a project, guys, and also too, I wanna learn more about the mechanics of cars. Most of you might know, I don't have good mechanical knowledge so looking for an older car that I could probably, you know, cut my teeth on and learn um, a lot more about the mechanics of a car and an old 70 series Land Cruiser, I thought was the perfect platform. It has 518,000 kilometres uh, on the clock, but the good news is the previous owners uh, recently, as in 200,000 uh, Ks ago, had a full engine rebuild. There's also been a, a major gearbox overhaul uh, being done on the car. Uh, a new radiator uh, was put in, I think, about five or six years ago. And there's been numerous other uh, mechanical things that have been done to it um, from the previous owners over the last uh, uh, 20 years. But as I said, uh, previous owners uh, had it for 20 years. They put the majority of the Ks on this car. So she's in pretty good nick, the old girl, for 33 years of age. Like all old Land Cruisers, there are some areas of rust which uh, I am going to uh, look to, to fix up. And, uh, and and take care of. In terms of mods, what she's got on it, um, obviously she's got a snorkel, uh, a ball bar. I have got a roof rack that I've just got to put on. And uh, the uh, previous owners had fitted a, uh, a, a set of drawers, which they had uh, made themselves. The drawers in the back there, they're about 20 years old. They've seen a lot of use. And uh, I'm not quite sure what I intend on doing with those drawers. I may take them out. And in fact, in terms of what I'm gonna do with the car, I'm not 100% sure, um, but what I do know is I'm not going to go overboard with a whole bunch of mods on this uh, this old Troopy. I think basically the reason why I was looking to buy an old car like this, as I said before, was one, to buy something that I could learn more about the mechanics of a car. However, also to uh, the enjoyment of sort of doing a bit of a small build, and that's what this will be. I'm going to keep this fairly minimalistic and keep it pretty basic and you know it might be something that I can take to Fraser Island or Morton Island or somewhere fairly close to home on the Gold Coast. Got a long range tank so uh, I got the main tank uh, right here and I believe they're probably around 90 litres, I'm not 100% sure but probably 90 litres there and there is also a, uh, a sub tank down the back um, another 90 litres I would think probably and then um, there's just a, a main switch up here for main tank and the sub tank up here on the dash. Go inside guys and have a look inside. Pretty good Nick giving, uh, she's 33 years old. Um, dash is in pretty good, pretty good condition there. Um, still got the original uh, stickers on here and uh, that one there, I'll have to fix that up. You'll see there's a bit of dust going on. I've got to give it a detail and a clean. Um, there is a UHF unit mounted up the front here, which all works fine. Just needs a new aerial down the front. There's an old CD player uh, in the front here and uh, everything else is pretty standard. So obviously, yeah, five speed manual. Um, the vinyl seats are in pretty good condition uh, on this side here. Previous owners had seat covers. Uh, the one on the other side here, the vinyl has cracked there. Um, but 
yeah, by and large, these are in pretty good nick. Uh, it does have air conditioning, obviously, but at the moment, the uh, air conditioning is one of the uh, items that isn't working. So I've got to get uh, that looked at and fixed. And 33 years of wear and tear on the door cards here. Just in the back of the old girl here, these are the uh, the drawer systems here. Um, they're pretty, pretty long, these drawers. As you can see, they're about probably 1.8 metres long. And uh, I am not sure what I'm going to do, whether I'm going to keep these drawer systems um, or retrofit my own uh, setup in the rear. But look, the previous owners have done a pretty, pretty good job um, creating these drawer system. Lots of storage. Again, you know, 33 years of wear and tear, as you can see. Got a second spare. Also, they gave me a whole bunch of uh, spares that they had for the vehicle as well. One of the biggest reasons why I bought this old car was to learn more about what's going on under the hood here. So I don't know too much about what's going on and I'm gonna hopefully learn a little bit during the process of owning this, this uh, old Troopy guys. But what I do know is it has got the old 2H motor. So um, this motor was replaced uh, in 1990 in the 70 series Land Cruisers. And uh, this is a 1990 model, but early 1990. So it's the last of the old 2H. They are reasonably powerless, um, I'm led to believe. So um, as I mentioned earlier, this engine here, 518,000 kilometers. However, the engine was completely overhauled. The previous owners spent about eight or $9,000 on a complete rebuild of the motor. I don't know what that entails, but that was done about 200,000 Ks ago. So the motor itself is in real Mickey Mouse condition. Um, does have a new, newish radiator. It's about seven years old. Um, almost a brand new battery. There is a second battery here as well. I'm not sure about the electrics and how that's all wired up and what's going on there. And um, that's about all I can tell you what's going on under the bonnet here. I know nothing. How much did I pay for the old Troopy? Well, what I will say is I got it really cheap and that's because the car was not for sale. Uh, the previous owners have had the car for 20 years. It wasn't on the market. Um, they were neighbors um, of, of my mum's place here in Victoria and I approached them and said I'm looking for a bit of a project. So they were willing to let it go uh, to me um, pretty cheap. $1,500 is what I paid for the old girl here. So I've got an extraordinarily uh, fantastic deal, but I was only too well aware I'm gonna probably have to spend some money on it to get it up to roadworthy. So I budgeted around two and a half thousand dollars before I even left Victoria to drive it home. So it went out to the mechanic that has been looking after this car for the last 20 years. The same mechanic that did the rebuild on the motor about 10 years ago. He knows the vehicle well. He's had it for a week and I've spent $3,200 um, on various different um, running gear and bits and pieces and to get it fully roadworthy for when I take it home to Queensland. But by and large, I think the plan for this car is to keep it basic. I'm not gonna go overboard with $30,000 worth of modifications or anything like that. I'm gonna try and do it myself and even a, a small 12 volt system, try and do all that myself, try and learn, jump on YouTube and, and learn how to do it myself. And that's what I'm looking forward to. And I think what I will do is I'll do some uh, videos um, and I'll put them up on YouTube for you guys to see how I'm traveling with the old Troopy. Guys, it's time to head home, back on the road, get the big girl back to the Gold Coast. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe and keep your eyes out. I'll put some videos uh, up on YouTube of the Troopy and yeah, we'll see what happens. Cheers guys.